<laughs> Easy goes it. We are delivering the parts today for the 720 GTR. So stay tuned, you're gonna get an update on that car. Also, we have the dash parts for the Ferrari 550 that's going to the Philippines. This is gonna get wrapped in beautiful black Alcantara. Yeah. And then once this car is complete, it will be shipped to its new home into the Philippines. Creative Bespoke has lent us their pretty sick van. Dude, it's sick, I like it. Man after my own heart right here. Oh, the Bentley. The Bentley. The we close the door here, we'll be able to see the Bentley. Look out, Mark, we gotta show the oh, Bentley. Show the Bentley, dude. Stay in there, just stay Priority. in there. Stay oh. in there. Oh, That's yeah. actually sick. Are you pumped for doing your GT3 Bentley build Dude, or what? Dude, I am so pumped. It'll be in August, about two weeks, we'll do the reveal over Christmas. I will come Hey, be quiet in quiet there. Quiet Mark, talk about my Bentley. So <laughs> the best part is it comes with snow tire. It'll be snow in Kelowna, so stay tuned for that delivery video. Snow nuts. Snow nuts! Snow nuts. Okay, drive the van. Let's go to the back. Let's go to create a best spoke and go find Cy. The man, the myth, the legend, you're driving. Tell Mark to be quiet back there. Yell at him. Hey, be quiet. Yeah. I'm glad you're driving and not Mark. Stop, Mark, this is not our van truck. <laughs> What's Mark doing? <laughs> Always a menace to society. All right, you guys, so listen up. The real thing we're doing today, we are gonna give you an update on the 720 GTR. So we're surprising Tim with that car. We worked out a deal with Cy. Creative Bespoke is gonna sell us the kit car in the back. What's it called? A Groman? A Groman. Tim's yeah, getting a Groman. Yeah. It looks like a Bagani Zonda kit it's car. so cool. So sick. Wait for his reaction. First, we'll do a quick update on the 720 GTR. Let's go find Cy. We gotta really thank Cy for the fact that he's gonna sell this car to us. Not quite at the price we talked about, a little bit more, cause he's really into it for a lot of money. He is. But he's gonna work with us to also put a paint job on that, whatever we want. If Tim wants that a certain color. Tim has done so much for us. He doesn't ask for anything. He's such a hard worker yeah. and a really nice person. So we wanna surprise him. I don't know how he's gonna react. I think he's gonna be I think so too. Well, he has no clue. He really just thinks we're no. here for the 720 parts and the 550 parts. So let's go. That door, wrong door, wrong door. Back into the Whoa. beautiful showroom that is Creative Bespoke. We got lots of crazy cars in here. Oh, we gotta keep it, keep it quiet. Shh, don't give it away. You see Sai? No. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, I see the 720 GTR though, hiding back here. Let's go see how this thing's doing. Damn, hell yeah. This is sick. Whoa. Look at this, all molded in now. Bro, making progress. Sides all lined up now. How do they do this? Like, how is this? A lot of that? work, a lot of work. And what's really cool is we're working on making sure that the coolers here do get some airflow. So we're gonna come up with a design. We thought maybe some circles, but we're probably not gonna do that. We're gonna follow the shape. And then Junior's gone ahead and made this really cool kind of ram air situation where, with the carbon fiber so that the air gets hit and basically it's gonna funnel up into the coolers, into the corner here. How you doing? Oh, Look today. at this, you are working hard. Nobody cared who I was until oh, I put on the mask. You think this gives you power? <laughs> Tell me you're a Dark Knight fan and get the reference. I, I get the ref. Okay, okay thank cool. you. Cool. He thought it was really funny too. Yeah. <laughs> He's killing himself right now. How's this going? Uh, it's coming along. Yeah? Uh, you having fun yet? Yeah. It's easy, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. We brought you some parts. Oh yeah. Because I think we're missing a few things. Yeah, so well. maybe you could have a quick look with us and let us know if the stuff we brought is useful. We also brought you a frunk bucket because you were telling me that helps to align it. Yeah, that's yeah, that'll help align the front. All stuff. this stuff? Yeah, the fan moves to the hood. Copy that. So this is the frunk bucket that belongs inside here. And once he gets this all bolted in, it'll help him line it up so that this actually sits properly and doesn't get obviously pushed up or out of alignment. So that was crucial along with a whole bunch of random parts. And one of the random parts is this. This is the cover. And we have a nickname, by the way. I heard the nickname for Rick is Ricasso. It's like Picasso, but it's Ricasso because Everything he does is like art on the car. So Look, how are we looking? Here. You happy you got this now? So Heck this yeah, is a piece man. that's, see how it's cracked here? Yeah. But we're thinking like, just glue it back together. It's just a cover, right? <laughs> He's not saying anything. <laughs> He's a man of few words today. You want that? Yes, no, I want yes, this. we need that. Okay, cool. The problem though is the tabs are all broken. That's okay. Oh, that one. Can you work you with that? Yeah, we can break. work with those. Yeah, okay. those, those always break. Oh, there's the other part of it. Oh, here it is. Oh, whoa. Here, see? See the crack? Yeah. Let's go small so is this usable right or do you have to get another one? <laughs> we'll probably have to get another one because these are what the quarter panel bolts to. Oh. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Here, I got gotcha. you. It's all good. I'll get a new one. Okay. <laughs> Tim, stop <laughs> laughing. You okay, like okay. it when I wreck supercar yes. parts. I got parking sensors. Yes, we need yes. those. We need rear. these. There you go. This is for the rear. One's the rear, one's the front. We mix it all together for <laughs> This was something you were waiting for. Yes. This is the gas cover, gas cap cover. <laughs> it makes that noise, eh? Oh, 
Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. This is what this is one of the prototypes. This is one of the prototypes. Damn. I know. Oh, but we got a better one. We got a really good one that we redesigned that's gonna actually be 10 times better than this. 10 times better. I like 10 times better. No, it's, it's got And it's supposed to be in carbon. Oh yeah, well this is just a prototype. The prototype yeah, one, yeah. Prototype. Look at this. Let's show them a little teaser what the prototype roof scoop's gonna be like. Oh! <laughs> Darn! Dude, how crazy is that? Oh, that's yeah. sick. That's wild, dude. I don't know too many people who have a roof scoop into a roof scoop. <laughs> there you go. Okay? Roof, the air. roof scoop to roof scoop. Eat your heart out, anybody with a 720 is trying to build a car like mine. You gotta go double roof scoop before you can even catch up. So we're clear, it's functional because this feeds that. That's right? pretty sick. This is where the vortex happens. The vortex, yes. This is, this is like true. Valkyrie F1 yeah. technology. The air spins off have a wind tunnel. <laughs> What's up DDE fam, Mark here with a very special message. As you guys know, Damon and Dave are very generous. And this holiday season, they've bought Tim a car. We're gonna get to see his reaction here in just a moment, but I wanted to thank Manscaped for sponsoring this video. It's with their help that we're able to do this. So please help us by supporting Manscaped and buy yourself the Performance Package 5.0, or buy it as a gift and give it to someone this holiday season. You'd be directly helping us buy Tim his brand new car. All right guys, it's time to level up your grooming game. Starting with the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0. Whoop bam! This right here is not just a package, it's a grooming experience. Let me walk you guys through why this right here is the perfect holiday purchase. First and foremost, it includes the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, which is a grooming powerhouse. It comes with two interchangeable skin safe blade heads, the skin safe trimmer blade, and the skin safe foil blade. This trimmer is all about versatility. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is waterproof, allowing you to groom in the shower or with shaving cream. Plus, Plus, it's easy to clean, which is a win-win. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra comes with three different length setting combs, ranging from 1.4 to 12 millimeter. It's all about customizable grooming. The Lawnmower 5.0 holds a charge for up to 60 minutes, giving you plenty of time to get the perfect shave. The Lawnmower 5.0 boasts a premium 7200 RPM motor, providing a powerful and efficient shave every time. Now let's not forget the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is perfect for taming those unruly nose and ear hairs. It's equipped with skin safe technology to help reduce nicks and cuts. It's also waterproof, so it can be used in the shower. And to make your grooming experience even more comfortable, there's the Crop Soother Ball After Shave Lotion. It's dermatologist tested for sensitive skin, and it helps soothe razor burn and itching as hair regrows. And for that final touch, there's the Crop Preserver. It's a clear drying, quick absorbing lotion with smooth aloe vera. Not only all that, the package comes with two free gifts, a pair of the Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 Travel Bag. This holiday season, head over to the Manscaped website and gift yourself or someone special the ultimate grooming experience. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Head over to manscaped.com and get your hands on the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra today. When you use my promo code DDE, you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping at checkout. Trust me when I say this, fellas. Your jingle balls will thank you. And thanks to Manscaped for helping us with this awesome surprise for Tim. Now, let's check out his reaction. Okay, so you were explaining to me on the phone, you have a strategy for doing this car kind of almost in sections. Sections, yeah. So you're gonna finish off the front end and then what do you guys do? Yeah, so right now he's, he's almost done with the front end, right? We need the trunk for him yeah. to line up everything. Once the front end is done, he's gonna take everything off. We're gonna send it to paint department. So the paint department is gonna put on a, uh, this special uh, primer that goes over the carbon that he seals the carbon so you don't see the print through. So once we put that, that gets baked under the lights okay. for about two days, and then we sand that down, and then it gets a final primer that gets rid of all the waviness, and then it goes into paint. So we can paint, literally shoot the four, whole front end, including the doors and the side skirts on one stage, and then the rear core panel. Since we're doing a single stage, uh, is not the matching is not going to be a problem, right? right? We don't have to do it okay. all at once. Gotcha. And then once the sec uh, uh, the rear end gets fitted, we'll go ahead and paint that. So do that the will whole, be whole process again, but for the rear end. For the rear. So end. You're gonna do it like front and then do the back after. Yes, cool. Right. That's really cool. Yeah, so so we'll, we'll that way some... we're not killing time, you know, waiting for know. everything to get some because I, I know. know how you are with your time. We got frame. timelines, man. Your birthday's coming up. We got timelines. My birthday. My birthday's coming up. <laughs> it's actually cool that he remembered that. The goal is to get the 
this car done and delivered by my birthday, January 30th. Mark my birthday in your calendars, you guys. I expect lots of comments. He likes Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> More of an LV guy, to be honest. I'll put my LV wish list right under You're my, Amazon right under my OnlyFans <laughs> account yeah, yeah, right. on Instagram. So these guys are gonna be working on this. We have a side project with Cy, which is now the 550 door panels and the dash. We brought that for you to do the uh, Alcantara. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why it looks so I love it. Hey, yeah, what are you talking about? He was looking like he <laughs> yeah, didn't remember at all what I was I talking about. Yeah. So where did you guys put? Yeah, where is that? Where, is it in? So yeah. come look at this. Yeah, That's the last that to, uh, piece of the puzzle for the 550. That's it. We just need uh, okay. we need that in Alcantara. Well, let's grab it. Let's take it to Mr. Harvey. Okay. He's the master. You guys mind grabbing it? Can we do it? that today? Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, we'll just wait. Right? We'll get it done back. Yeah, we'll bring it back. And we set it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go get lunch at the spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll go there. the Thai spot. They're so good. Yeah. We are now in the upholstery side of Creative Best Folk, and he has some black Alcantara possibly laying around here so we can have a look at the sample. But we're going to get this banged out and get this car off to its new owner. And then Dave and I are even talking about flying over there for the big reveal. With Mike Hall, who brokered the deal. Mike Hall, we're taking billionaire Mike, Mike Hall. Mike doesn't like to travel, doesn't like any food that's not a hamburger. Exotic food? Yeah, so. Whoa, <laughs> dude. What do you think billionaire Mike Hall in the Philippines is going to be like, Tim? Scared. I Cornflakes. Corn flakes. Corn flakes. Is it? Yeah, this is actually a Lamborghini. That's perfect. Yeah, Lamborghini. Oh, that's gonna look great on there. Oh dear. Be a lot better than blue. Just to give you guys an example of the quality and the work that they do here. Look at this. This has already been wrapped like a purple. Look how perfect the stitching is yeah, on that's that. Really good. So that's why we've got, you know, the trust in these guys to make sure that this gets done properly because the quality is what we need. We also need to go and talk a little bit more about that 720 GTR. Are we good to go on the yeah, car? We're good. All right. We gotta surprise them. Let's see how we can do this. We'll pretend like we're gonna talk about this car for a few more minutes. Done. Is it done? It's done. That was actually yeah, pretty quick. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Throw the wheels off. <laughs> Ship it. Dude. Oh, They're are so you, fast. Are you impressed? Yeah. 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 Did you say happy? Did he just say happy birthday? There it is. Here's your Louis bag. <laughs> Dude, Ricasso is killing me here, but he's he's doing the artwork. This is beautiful. But your little turbocharger too, man. Yeah, dude, three turbos. Oh, three turbos. Did you guys bring the tanks for all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, they're right here. Oh, thank goodness. Well, it's good that you guys are in partnership now with Alex from Gintani because he's gonna have to help put all that back together. Oh, it's yeah. the water and the meth kit for the car. There's one thing it gets, it's meth. Yeah, a lot of meth. <laughs> well, oh, Alex geez. gets meth. <laughs> he understands it. On a personal Real level. meth problem that guy has, oh, you know? It's too much meth. He calls it an opportunity, I don't know. <laughs> he calls it an yeah, opportunity. So look, you're killing it on this build. You feel like you're on schedule with everything? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> wow, the confidence. You felt you felt a lot better when you were yelling happy birthday two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Well, you have a lot of time still. You got the rest of this month, plus Christmas, plus uh, the new year. And then you have, yeah, about uh, 29 days from the second on. Yep. You think you bang it out? I hope so. You feel pretty good considering ha the other half, the car's not even here and it's not even his problem. Poor guy. Now, listen, as cool as this project is, it's gonna take some time. They're working on it. We're still waiting from Duke Dynamics to send the carbon rear quarter panels, the proper roof scoop, and we have to make a few tweaks to that chassis mounted wing. But you know what? We came here for another reason, didn't we, Dave? We did. What are we really here for? A surprise. A surprise, who are we surprising? Hey, we're surprising you. Wait, what? Well, in the end, Cy spoke to us and said, look, I really like your guy, Tim. He works really, really hard. The story behind everything. And I want to do you guys a solid and make sure you guys get the car for him. So that's your brand new car that's sitting over car. in the corner right there. I don't have to drive it back, do I? Yes, you do. <laughs> what? You have to drive it back. Come on. Come come it. Let's come get your brand new car. Oh my God. What's this thing called again? What are they grueling? <laughs> They're grueling. I'm going to re-nickname it the Yonder. It's a Yonda. <laughs> this is your brand new project car on Daily Driven Exotics, Actually, Tim. we're not messing with you. This is your car. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank yeah, you, you for it. all the hard work. <laughs> this is what to do. Thank you for all the hard work. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you, dude. Do you like this thing? It's cool. Dude, the doors go up. Looks yeah. like a Zonda. This is your project car. Yeah, you have to figure out how to open the door. <laughs> so this is a, a basically a kit car that was manufactured in Miami. The owner mm. of the company has hit me up. He's going to support us on your basically rebuild of it. It has about 600 horsepower allegedly. It's rear engine. The doors go up but sometimes. The, the doors lock. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Give it a walk around. Have a good look at this thing. Touch and feel it. 
You got a roof scoop. Dude. The doors go up. You got a chassis oh, naked wing. Yeah. Oh, Woo. dude. Come on. Dude, and what's crazy. cool is Cy had the guys clean it up. It was actually looked like a barn find even when worse. we first saw it. So I think you can even go and climb inside if you want. Yeah. Somebody stole the radio. <laughs> oh. Welcome to supercar life, Tim. That's what it's like. Oh, is it? oh, yeah. It's a little small, but you know. Ah. How are you, Tim? Hush. <laughs> Hush, Tim. If you don't fit all hot. Do you have any idea? We were gonna do this for you? No, I thought you were joking. <laughs> no, dude. No, dude, we don't joke. Thank you guys so much. This, this is awesome. Project. This car is done, painted, wheels. It's gonna be sick, I'm telling you. Hell yeah, you it's gonna be it. sick. We got you, you're driving it home. You just follow the truck and trailer with Dave driving, nice sure. and chill, right lane, 55 the whole way. Yeah, I mean, you got brand new tires on here, you're good to go. Yeah, yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> We'll put some air in there. Start it up. Go. We'll see you. Take care. Oh, Tail lights are probably not working. No. <laughs> what? Oh, what made you say that? <laughs> the wires are just hanging. <laughs> 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 Wall Street. Check out the back. Look at the turbine. Yeah, dude. Turbine. Oh, man. It's crazy. No air lift. Are, come out. are you getting ideas already for this? We do. I have ideas. Do you? Has an air suspension. That's right, that's right, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually super stoked to see you play with this thing on the channel. But yeah, dude, this is it. This Thanks. is the start of your journey on DD of and your you own design, car. You have to design the livery. This has to come from your heart. Okay. Yeah. Your your mind. Whatever you want. The gears are turning. Let's do a little. <laughs> let's, let's do a little. At least they're turning somewhere because they're not turning on this quite yet. Let's do a little montage. You're Oh. Yeah, fuel? I don't know. <laughs> fuel switch? Dude, this thing's more exotic than half the cars in our fleet. This thing is insane. Like, the doors go up the way that they do, the look of it, the roof scoop. An AMG V12 in one of these things. What? We need a motor swap in this. Oh, yeah. Here's an the AMG, AMG V12? V12 in this car. No. Nope. Tim, you want an AMG V12 in here? I like turbo sounds, but a V12 would sound even better. Color change? Yeah. Tim, what color, do you like bright colors, Tim? Like, I do. What, do you really? Yeah. A crazy livery, dude. Absolutely crazy. Crazy. So start thinking. Diesel! 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 It's gasoline mixed down with a little touch of diesel. Watch the paint, watch the paint. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, these are the worst. Yeah. So, what are your first thoughts? Needs a new suspension. And then I think, since it already doesn't have a blow-off valve, we can get it to go do 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 Oh, yeah. So that can go away. Yep. And then we'll uh, just replace turbos every two weeks. Yeah. After you know, like, it goes do 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 Compressor surge. <laughs> well, that's yeah. yeah. I don't know that. Yeah, so when you let off and the air goes back through the turbo the way that it's not supposed to go, <laughs> it makes the do 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 Spin in his turbo blade. You got turbo all Michael S is going to kill you for that one. <laughs> all right, boys. We're going old school methods here. We're going to try to bump start it. But when we said that, Sai goes, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what you guys were talking about. I know how to jump start the car. Bump start. Okay. Pass beam gear, out. clutch in. I know, bro. Come on. <laughs> Get it. Watch clutch in again. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, this is this is the first part of the journey. How so do we get I it to run? Like bad gas. Can we renegotiate the price now, or how does this work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can smell the fuel. It's it's pumping yeah. fuel well, there. Yeah, it's cranks over. I need a favor from all of you guys. Okay, the DD fam needs to show Sai some love. If you go to the Create a Best Spoke Google review, leave this gentleman a solid review, five stars, for doing this solid for Tim. Because honestly, this car is worth a lot more than what we paid for. That's all he wants in return is that Tim gets what he wants as a project car on the channel, have something fun, he's got a big heart, show him some love, Google review. 
Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Now you have to keep steering it. Get in. No, don't move the van. No, push this thing all the Drive way around the trailer. The Tim, you get to do your first drive in your brand new car. So I'll Tim, go in passenger seat. He's getting past her. Reverse entry. By the way, Dave is 6'2. Let's see if Dave fits. Fudge. You get in there? Oh, this is this is tight. Hey, don't kick his dash. Hey, watch your feet. Hey, hey easy. Dude, oh, dude. easy on the carbon, bro. Right. Yeah. It actually has it actually has crazy leg room. So this is nowhere for your legs to go. Oh, here, hold like on. This. Look at the switch panel, how the label. It says dark side lights, passenger eject, ninja lights, strobe lights, zombie lights, spy mode. It's not working. <laughs> it, needs a, it needs a radio. Yeah. It needs some wiring upgrade. That's probably, that's not good. Dave, look. Is that a handbrake? That's a handbrake. Why is it all messed up? Oh, we're driving. Oh, we're moving. Tim's first drive in a supercar. It's light. <laughs> I can't really see, to be honest. It's a little cloudy. <laughs> oh, 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 Ah! It's coming out of your paycheck. Wait, what? Right, Damon and I, when we first saw this car, we're like, this would be a car for Tim. For a lot of reasons, it's super exotic looking and it's a project. Not that I don't like your IS300, but like this is more, this is more DDE. This is, this is. And awesome. you're the guy that shuts his mouth and just does his job all day long, doesn't ask for anything ever. Mark, the opposite. <laughs> I'm turning, I'm turning. It's cranked. Dave was distracting me. I'm turning. It's cranked. It's crank. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The office is all custom. The gauge just looks like video gauges. The steering column's obviously from something. We'll have to research yeah. that. What do you think? Digital? Oh, no, do the AEM screen or something. Can I pull the handbrake? Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Dirty. Do it again, do it again, do it again, because I want to move forward. So do it slowly. Just put some drag on there. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are dying. Cameras. One of the hardest things on this channel to do is to take cars that everybody knows and loves and make them look unique. And the thing that I love about this car is it's got that right from the get-go. It's got one of the hardest things to accomplish. Putting a new motor in here, changing the brakes or the wheels or any of that other stuff mechanically, that's all relatively easy compared to making it look cool. And I know how much you guys love when Mark messes with Tim, so go ahead and comment in the comments about that too. Mark, leave Tim alone, my friend. Yeah. Tim's a national treasure. Hey. Tim for president in 2024. <laughs> I'll vote for you. Now, when you guys put the car in here, make sure it goes all the way forward because in the next episode, there's another car reveal because we're buying, yes, another supercar next episode. Back to back. We haven't done that in a hot minute. The next one is also a really big one. Really big. Heavy project. Like heavy project. Yeah. I thought this was something. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, I'll give you a little hint. <laughs> the next one's a Lamborghini. Mark figured out how the window opens. No! <laughs> That's actually really cool. One, two. Not bad. <laughs> Sometimes it's much better to hold the camera and volunteer. Yeah. I'll film all this, you guys. Don't worry, I got you. I'll hold the camera. Because this is misery, to be honest. Stop! Oh. Ah, stop, 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 stop! We're gonna kill him! We're gonna kill him! Dang, we missed! The best part is this car has to come off at the next place with the other car in front. What? I'm, just, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Hey, I'm joking. <laughs> How you did it, Tim? You are sweaty. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You stopped there, you hit it. I live. One car loaded and another car to pick up. Oh. <laughs> We're not done yet. That was a lot of work. It didn't look like much on camera, but that was a, that was a lot of work. In fact, my, sweaty. my lower back is actually sore from that. Getting old sucks. Nothing hurts on you. You're 20. I feel great. I noticed that the past. You say I feel great. I feel amazing right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Speaking of, I'll reveal my spec very, very soon. In the meantime, time to get some lunch. Oh, if isn't James Bond. Dude, look at this thing. What are you doing? I'm taking this to lunch. Ooh. Are you gonna come with me or are you gonna go in the camera car? Yeah, I'll come with you. Okay, ready, pull start. <laughs> Dude, I love the swan doors. Have you noticed they go up just, just a little bit? Just a little bit to be better than everybody else. Whose car is this? No idea. Oh, that's not slow. It's not slow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, it has back seats, but 
No one's going back there. No. We should put Mark back there. Oh my gosh. He would hate us. We're going to the traditional Thai restaurant. That's what little Jesus hole is known for, dude. Little hole in the wall. I love the food there. It's, it was really good last time. We had the flame tuned soup with Alex Gandani. The G Wagon. Holy G -wagon. Oh, body. yeah. It's a cool car. GT. I remember when it first came out. GT car. It's meant to be exactly what it is. Comfortable. It's got a smooth suspension. I remember this car came out. We made a video at Aston Martin in Newport with this car when it came out. I when like it was like styling. 500 grand, now it's probably 100. I like How styling. much is this car right now, do you think? I like the styling. I'd say it's probably 180, 200 grand. I wouldn't pick the maroon red interior, personally. Would you pick this interior? No. And this is the best place to eat in all of Phoenix. Even when you're on a conference call. Feel this? Yeah, the thickiness. If it has that, you know it's good. Yeah, sticky it has thick. to come off on your hands. It has to. Then you can, yeah, the flavor. <laughs> James right. Bond. The wing went up. Super sick. That car new was like 400. If you want to buy it right now, how much would you sell that car for to a DD fan? Don't say 10 grand. No. <laughs> Don't say 10 grand. You gotta be specific. He was joking, by the way, you guys. 120. 120? That's still a lot of money. However, compared to its MSRP, it's a very good deal. It's like a quarter of what it was new. Time to go pick up car purchase number two. Two turn Timmy? Yes. We're gonna put my car behind your car because your car is number one. Oh man. <laughs> I actually found this car for Damon this time. I surprised him. Well, he knows about it, but. <laughs> well, I, I didn't buy it before I had him look at it, but I found it to surprise him. It's a lot of money, so obviously we wouldn't just go and spend the money without talking to you. It's actually not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. Actually, it's the cheapest I've ever in the world. Pretty much is. But it's going to be one of the most expensive when we're done with it. <laughs> this Dude, spot. this looks like a place Ooh. that a few donuts have gone down. <laughs> I like this spot. All right, so we're here to pick up the new car. I'm really excited. I haven't seen this car. I was asked about it, but it's exactly what I need for the next and biggest project that this channel will ever see. So get excited about that. Woo! The goal of what I wanna do with this car is nothing that we've ever done before on this channel. So Dave's been spending a lot more time recently with Matt Armstrong. And guess what Matt does? He buys cars that have little blemishes. Typically things that can be buffed out. Yep. So today, Dave's taken to me AZ Cycle Parts. Lead yes. the way. Come on in, I've never here before. Hey, oh, what's hey. up? Let's go. Dave, how are you? Hey, nice to hey you Damon. We met at SEMA. SEMA, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This year? Yeah, I stood next to you at Tamar's oh, place and we talked. <laughs> no, we didn't. I got the picture to prove it. Oh, this year, because we talked about fixing the SVJ. You want to leave? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Hey, Dave, you want to leave and do that again? Or? <laughs> no, that's Dave's man. Good, um, to, good to see you again, dude. <laughs> hey, Sima, Sima, if you that's remember, right. you probably forget. He forgets. <laughs> that was the most awkward moment ever. Hey, we have a car we're here for. Yeah, we haven't yeah. told them what it is yet, so don't spoil it. The audience doesn't know. Okay. Have no clue. Nope. Where do we go to see it? Can we walk with you back for here? Sure. Or yeah. Come through a Can back you door. Tour first, talk about what you do here. Yeah, what do you do here? They sell desks, right? They sell hoods. Yeah. They got one left. One <laughs> left. Viola Parsifal. One, one left. Viola Parsifal. Yeah. Right? That's right. I know my paint codes. I'm a big Lamborghini paint code guy. Get them right all the time. Yep, all the time. By the way, remember that the burn yard when Damon threw the front diff into the garbage at the uh, Huntington <laughs> event two years ago? This is the gentleman who saved the day and gave us that front differential. Ah. That's right. Yeah, you did save the day. Thank you. Anytime. And that thing's been perfect ever since. Just we because you got the right parts. Wow. It's a cardboard boxes too. Dude, wow. Oh my God. How many square feet is this building? Uh, about 40,000. Oh my goodness. Dude. Do you guys have any parts? Just a few. Oh. That is crazy. Wow. So this is, you know, for the lack of a better term, this is the place you come when you need anything. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. If, if it's a, a sports car or exotic car or enthusiast car, like we do it. Wow. I already see so many things that I want in here. Bro, this is insane. Oh, dude. S2000. I see Gallardo body panels and chassis up there. Porsches. 992 GT3, this one? That's crazy. 
Man, this is so cool. So if you guys need anything, you guys need to click the link in description and contact AZ. Hey, AZ Auto Cycle, 430 red. This is fun, this is like, where's Waldo? And you just find all the Ferrari and exotic parts. No, not that. Yeah. What's that from? I was gonna say, this looks like Take the engine that would've came out of that car. Tim, for your new car. Dude, it is. It's the same. You see the stock number, 1330. You see that? You see <laughs> You see how good I was at that? And I didn't even see the stock number. So that motor is out of what's left of that car. That would be cool if we got you an F430 engine, V8, yes. <laughs> for your new project car. Yes. Man. Oh, we'll have to talk. Hey, what's that? 675 LT. Is it really? Yeah. This is like our candy it's, store it's, now. It's, it's Car guy heaven. How many years has you been doing this for? I've been doing this for close to 20 years. Really, you look young though. I started young. How old are you? I'm 40. Hey, me too. What was your birthday? Uh, May. End of May. April, we're like the same age. Yeah. What high school did you go to? Middle of nowhere, yes. Wisconsin. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we're Stop age. it, stop it. Here's some 5.2 V10 block. You been around the block? Oh. That's pretty good. That was good, I like that. I appreciate that joke. Man, you guys have Endless, endless stuff. We got the seat section. Sit down, Dave. I'll take it from here. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. And it, look, look, it just goes, look how deep it goes. It just goes and goes and goes. These are cool. What are these off of? Those are off my race car. I was gonna say, so <laughs> what, what's your race car? Uh, which one? Oh. oh wow. Damn. Tim, give me your because right. Damn, dude. Dude, he hit me with that hard. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I don't have that problem. You got high-powered Huracan, don't you? There we go. Oh, yeah. We have five underground cars. Five UGR cars? Yeah. <laughs> We're on the wrong <laughs> business, bro. Let's leave, let's leave, let's yeah, leave. Yeah, let's leave, let's leave, let's leave, let's leave. Bro. That 2000 looks clean before the crash. Yeah, that that car only has 6,000 original miles on it. Six Oh, I sucked, it got wrecked. Look at how Holy clean crap. it is under here. Oh, dude, the engine is brand new. That's wild. That's all good though, still. We try to buy the best of the wrecked cars we can get. Strip it down. Because it gives the best parts to our clients. That's amazing. So. This is so cool. Because even though this sucks, there's a perfectly good motor under there that's basically brand new. And the rest of the car as well. I mean, these 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 parts are getting really, really hard to find. And, yeah. you know, like, Obviously, we never like to hear like the accident stories and stuff, but they're good organ donors for other projects. Lambo, the yellow Lambo. Is that my Lambo? I don't know, you have to stay tuned, find out. C5Z06. And he smoked that curb, hey? <laughs> that is scary looking, jeez. Well, shall we finally get to the next major infamous DD car that's going to change the game on this channel? Yes, please. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Damon, I got you, bro. I present you your new car. Yeah, you, you definitely got me. I got you, bro. <laughs> you got, hey? I got, got you. I love you, man. I love you. This isn't a joke. This is the, really the next project car. car. Congratulations. Say hello to the brand new daily driven exotics 